These days though, it does appear Lindsay is having a bit of a career revival, which makes us fans very excited to see. And one of these recent projects is her new Christmas movie on Netflix. But more on that in just a moment. Lohan's career basically hit rock bottom circa 2011, right around the same time that she decided to lease a fully renovated 1937 Georgian colonial inspired home for what many people initially assumed was a price tag of nearly 25 thousand dollars a month. But after a little bit of digging, it seems Lindsay wasn't paying anywhere near that amount. And really, how could she have been with the state that her career was in? Instead, it was determined Lindsay was renting the unit for the price of $9,000 a month. I mean, still not a discount, but a lot cheaper than 25K. Located on a 1.5 acre spread that's all but hidden from the nearby road, thanks in large part to a long driveway set behind massive iron gates, Lindsay's former former Beverly Hills estate featured a relatively small motor court with a two car garage. Out front, the house opened to a brick terrace that wraps all the way around the home and extends as far back as the swimming pool. Inside the property boasts three bedrooms as well as three and a half bathrooms in just under 2,500 square feet of space, including multiple gathering spaces like the living and dining rooms, both of which feature polished wooden floors and numerous French doors leading out to the expansive deck beyond. Now, prior to Lindsay moving in, the owners of the home had thoroughly upgraded the kitchen by installing a center island and brand new marble countertops throughout. Meanwhile, upstairs, the second floor master suite boasted a private balcony, a fireplace to warm yourself up at night, and an attached bathroom with two sinks, a glassed-in shower, separate jacuzzi tub, and a bidet. Out in the backyard sat that mammoth deck built into the hillside to take advantage of those incredible incredible city views, as well as a nearby walled courtyard that boasted a built-in barbecue for the many get-togethers Lindsay no doubt threw while living here. Shortly after moving in, Lindsay began one of her many attempts of image rehabilitation. She not only signed on to guest spots on popular TV series like Glee and Saturday Night Live, she also invited Bravo's million dollar decorators inside of her home to redesign a few specific rooms. So Bravo footed the bill to refashion the actress's rental, even even though she barely bothered showing up on the actual episode all that much herself. Following that cosmetic update, Lindsay couldn't keep up with her rent and tried to break her lease in December 2012. She was warned that if she did so, she'd incur massive penalties, so she kept scraping together the money for a few months before her lease finally ran out. After a short layover in New York, Lindsay wound up taking her act international, and in the late 2010s, she would do her best to rehabilitate her brand once again, this time by opening up her very own beach club. In case you're not aware, a couple of years ago, Lindsay Lohan was on a mission to create her own empire and become something of a mogul in the European country of Greece. Not only did she become an owner of a nightclub in Athens, she also became the proprietor of a beach club on the Greek island of Mykonos. Lindsay opened the club in 2019 and a few months later, she began shooting her MTV series aptly titled Lindsay Lohan's Beach Club to show off its sizzling locale. And while Lindsay never actually resided on this property, she sure made the most of every visit, partying it up like it was 2007 all over again. Lindsay also invested a healthy amount of capital in the property, redesigning the look of each room and the club's exterior while flying in staff from America for the entire summer to serve as ambassadors of the Lohan brand. When the club wasn't roped off for the filming of her reality series, Lohan opened the spot up to guests from all over the world who could take advantage of amenities like renting a sunbed for $50 a session. Or you could dine in the club's restaurant restaurant that serves up Mediterranean food with unexpected flavor combinations, including a slew of menu items that ranged in price from $25 to $75. After indulging in a few sharing plates and drinks, visitors could also swing by her boutique shop stocked with some of Lindsay's favorite items, all of which boasted a Londonish flair. Unfortunately, like so much else in Lindsay's life, this too was not meant to last. The MTV series more or less bombed upon release and Lindsay left others in charge of the resort as she departed from Greece 
all together. So where did she retreat to once her new series sunk? Well, it wasn't a return to America, not yet at least. Instead, she jumped on a plane and headed to Dubai. Lindsay Lohan has spent the better part of five years operating out of the United Arab Emirates, more specifically, the city of Dubai, where she lives alongside her new husband, Badr Shamas. She met him in 2018 and married him earlier this year. During an interview with W Magazine, Lindsay shared that her decision to move to Dubai stemmed from a desire to keep her private life away from the prying eye of the media. She explained, There's a certain calmness that I find here. There's no paparazzi, no cameras. That's a big deal for me. More than anything else, Lindsay felt liberated by her ability to simply go anywhere in Dubai and live her life without having to worry over who was following her around. Even more surprisingly, this move far away from home wound up having a rejuvenating effect on her relationship with her family, even her father whom she'd had some well publicized issues with in the past. Another added bonus was that the serenity Lohan discovered in Dubai allowed her to be more productive. She described how to Emirates women. I get more done because I don't have the scrutiny and fixation on what I'm doing every second. I work all the time, my mind never stops. Some of that work has been on herself as well, and in recent years, Lohan has broadened her horizons by turning inward to learn more about spirituality, specifically speaking, the Quran. And while she hasn't converted to the Islamic faith fully, she does consider it to be beautiful. After a few full years of living in Dubai, Lindsay was reportedly getting set to head back to the United States in early 2020 to help manage her sister Ali's music career. But once the pandemic hit, those best laid plans fell by the wayside and later that year Ali would join Lindsay in Dubai during lockdown. Of course, now that she just got married, Lindsay's plans to return stateside might have been pushed back but she's still doing some work in the States, that's for sure. And that isn't to say those of us over here in North America are gonna have to be without Lindsay Lohan over this holiday season particularly, because she just popped up in a brand new Netflix holiday movie. Before we wrap things up here, I thought that it might be fun to take a look at the fabulous locale that serves as the main setting for Lindsay Lohan's new holiday rom-com, Falling for Christmas. I mean, the film might be your typical cheesy holiday movie, but who doesn't love those? And it's partly set in an incredible ski resort that makes it feel luxurious. And guess what? This dreamy resort actually exists in Park City, Utah. One of the main locations used in the film is a resort known as the Goldener Hirsch, which is part of the Auberge Resorts collection and features a blend of Bavarian inspired inns, as well as some sleek modern structures. This combo of an old world feel with modern touches makes this resort one of a kind and would no doubt take your breath away whether you were walking through its numerous glass skyways or relaxing in front of any of the property's gorgeous wood burning fireplaces. Plus, as an added bonus, you can partake in a handful of winter activities including skiing, snowmobile tours, bobsledding and sleigh rides, as well as other five star luxuries like an incredible restaurant, multiple lounges, a pool, fitness center, and a dry sauna. So if you're looking to get away this holiday season, you can either book yourself a flight to Utah or simply turn on Netflix and see Lindsay's Christmas comeback. All right, everyone, that's going to bring this house tour to a close. Thanks so much for watching. And before you head out, consider answering this following question. If you were harassed for most of your adult life by the paparazzi, would you be willing to move as far away as Dubai just to escape the spotlight? Let me know if you think Lindsay Lohan has taken her need for privacy too far in the comments below. Or tell me what you think of her Christmas movie. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure you never miss an episode. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another house tour. Bye.